Did you know that according to a 2016 report in Cell Metabolism, intermittent fasting can lead to a 3 to 8% weight loss over 3 to 24 weeks? That's like losing the weight of a small chihuahua or a large watermelon. Intermittent fasting has taken the health world by storm, and it's no wonder, with potential benefits like that. So if you've been thinking of adopting a pet chihuahua, but can't handle the responsibility, why not try intermittent fasting instead? So, you're probably wondering, how long until I lose my imaginary chihuahua? Well, let's talk about it. The timeline for seeing results with intermittent fasting is like a choose-your-own-adventure book. It's different for everyone. Some folks might see positive changes within a few weeks, while others might feel like they are waiting for a bus in the rain. It feels longer than it actually is. When you start intermittent fasting, your body has to adjust to the new eating pattern. This initial adaptation period can take a few days to a couple of weeks. Now, if you're hoping to drop some pounds, you might start seeing changes within the first month. But remember, we're all unique snowflakes and factors such as metabolism and dietary choices can affect the pace of weight loss. In other words, your chihuahua may decide to stick around longer than your neighbors. No need to take it personally though. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more health tips and tricks. When you first start intermittent fasting, it's like inviting your body to a party it didn't want to attend. You know, it's that awkward phase where you're trying to figure out the rhythm of the music and your body is like a reluctant dancer, unsure of the steps. In the early days of intermittent fasting, the body undergoes an adaptation period. It's like a switch from burning carbs to burning fat. This transition can sometimes feel like a roller coaster ride, with some possible side effects like hunger pangs, fatigue, headaches, or even mood swings. It's your body's way of saying, hey, we're used to breakfast at 8, what's with the sudden change? Don't be disheartened, it's all part of the process. This phase can last anywhere from a few days to a couple of weeks. But don't worry, there are ways to manage these initial hiccups. Drinking plenty of water, staying active, and ensuring you're consuming nutrient-dense foods during your eating windows can help ease this transition. Think of it like a DJ switching the music track in the middle of the party. It might feel a bit jarring at first, but soon enough, you'll find your groove and start dancing to the new rhythm. Remember, it's key to listen to your body during this adaptation period. If you're feeling excessively tired or unwell, it might be a sign to ease up a little. This isn't a race, and there's no one-size-fits-all approach. The goal is to find a fasting and eating schedule that works best for you. And here's a pro tip. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you slip up and break your fast early, don't throw in the towel. Just get back on track with your next scheduled fast. It's about long-term consistency, not perfection. So yes, the initial adjustment to intermittent fasting can feel like a dance you're not quite sure how to do. There might be a few missteps, a bit of stumbling, and some awkward moments. But hey, every good party requires some adjustment, right? With time, patience, and a bit of humor, you'll soon be dancing like nobody's watching. So keep going, the best is yet to come. Now, some of you early birds might start seeing worms, or, in this case, benefits quicker than others. As we've discussed, intermittent fasting is a bit like a marathon, not a sprint. But hey, wouldn't we all love to be that one fast runner who gets a head start? Well, in the realm of intermittent fasting, these fast runners are the ones who start to experience the short-term benefits relatively quickly. We're talking about benefits like increased energy and mental clarity. Imagine waking up in the morning feeling like you've just downed a cup of the world's strongest coffee, minus the jitters, of course. Or, picture yourself breezing through your work or study sessions, your brain firing on all cylinders, as if you've suddenly transformed into a character from a superhero movie with a supercharged mind. That's what we're talking about here. Now you might be wondering, how soon can you become this early bird? Well, it's not an exact science, but many people notice these changes within the first few weeks of practicing intermittent fasting. Remember though, your body is unique and might take its own sweet time to adjust to this new eating pattern. But here's a pro tip, consistency is your best friend here. Stick to your fasting and eating windows like glue. The more consistent you are, the sooner you might start reaping these short-term benefits. And let's not forget, it's not just about when you eat, but also what you eat. Choosing healthy, nutrient-dense foods during your eating windows can supercharge your intermittent fasting journey, helping you become that early bird who gets the worm. But remember, while these short-term benefits are fantastic, they are just the tip of the iceberg. The full spectrum of long-term benefits of intermittent fasting, like improved insulin sensitivity and enhanced cellular repair, usually take a bit more time to kick in, so keep your eyes peeled for those early birdworms. 
they might just be around the corner. For those of you in for the long haul, your rewards might take a bit more time, but let me tell you good things come to those who wait. And by good things, I mean some truly impressive long-term benefits that intermittent fasting can bring. We're talking about the kind of benefits that don't just make you look good in a swimsuit, but also keep your body in tip-top shape. Let's start with improved insulin sensitivity. This is a fancy way of saying your body gets better at managing blood sugar levels. And guess what? This can happen after several weeks of consistent intermittent fasting. But remember Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your insulin sensitivity be. Next, we have enhanced cellular repair. Now this might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie but it's all very real. Basically your body starts getting better at fixing its own cells helping you stay healthier and potentially live longer. This, my friends, can take a few months to kick in. And speaking of living longer, some studies suggest that intermittent fasting might just help you do that. But we're not promising immortality here, just a potential boost in longevity, which, let's face it, wouldn't be too shabby. Again, this is a long-term game, so don't expect to wake up feeling 100 years younger after a week of fasting. Now, I can't stress this enough, but everyone's body is different. And that means the timeline for experiencing these benefits can vary from person to person. However, one thing that doesn't change is the importance of consistency. You've got to stick with your fasting schedule to reap the rewards. And lastly, here's a quick public service announcement. Before you dive headfirst into the world of intermittent fasting, it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional, especially if you have underlying health conditions, because as cool as it is to take charge of your own health, it's even cooler to do it safely. Patience is a virtue, and in this case, it might just make you healthier. So buckle up, stay consistent, and let the magic of intermittent fasting unfold at its own pace. Remember, just like snowflakes and fingerprints, no two fasting experiences are the same. Each of us is a unique blend of lifestyle choices, dietary habits, and overall health conditions, all of which play a starring role in our intermittent fasting show. Think about it. If you're a night owl who loves late night snacking, your body might take a little longer to adjust to a fasting schedule compared to an early bird who naturally skips breakfast. Or maybe you're an active person who hits the gym regularly. Your body might respond differently to intermittent fasting compared to someone who prefers a more sedentary lifestyle. Then there's the food factor. If your eating window is filled with nutrient-dense, wholesome foods, you're giving your body the fuel it needs to thrive during the fasting period. On the flip side, if you're using your eating window as an all-you-can-eat junk food buffet, well, let's just say your fasting experience might not be as beneficial. And let's not forget about our overall health. Conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, or hormonal imbalances can all influence how our bodies react to intermittent fasting. The bottom line? Your fasting journey is as unique as you are. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach, but a tailored suit, designed to fit your body, your lifestyle, and your goals. So, embrace your unique fasting journey, snowflake. So, to sum it all up, the answer to how long does it take for intermittent fasting to work is Drumroll please, it depends. That's right folks, there's no one-size-fits-all answer here. It's like asking, how long is a piece of string? It's all about you and your body. Remember your body needs some time to, to this new eating pattern. It's like moving into a new home. It takes a while to get used to the new environment and unpack all the boxes. And, like any good home, it's all about consistency. The benefits of intermittent fasting, whether it's improved energy levels, mental clarity, or weight loss, can take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months to kick in. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So don't be disheartened if you don't see immediate results. Remember, whether you're losing a chihuahua or a watermelon, it's your journey. So stick with it, stay consistent, and most importantly, keep it fun. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more health tips and tricks.